furon or furon derivatives can be synthesized with the help of Palnor synthesis. In case of Palnor synthesis, we should have one four diketo compound. So here you can see this is one, two, three, and four. So at position one and four, we have two carbonyl groups. So this is the minimum requirement in Palnor synthesis. When we heat such type of compound in presence of the acid such as para toluene sulfuric acid, here we require the trace amount of acid. This oxygen will absorb this proton and we get the structure. So this carbonyl will be as it is and here we get oxygen bond with this hydrogen. So other substituents like R1 and R2, this will remain as it is. Now here we have positive charge. Now in the next step, the proton which is present on this carbon, the lone pair which is present between this carbon and the hydrogen, it will donate like that and this positive charge will get stabilized and we get the structure so this is R1 and here we have oxygen and the hydrogen and now we have carbon carbon double bond now in the next step Again, in presence of the trace amount of acid, this oxygen will get protonated. So I will write the structure. So we have carbon oxygen and oxygen hydrogen bond. So this is R1 and here we have OH. This is R2 and we have carbon carbon double bond now we must write the positive charge on this oxygen because we have three bonds now the lone pair of electron which is present on this oxygen this will donate the lone pair of electron on this carbon and this bond will get break and stabilization of positive charge takes place so we get the next structure I will write here structure. So we have the cyclization or the cyclic intermediate. This is R1, R2, and we have this OH. So we have bond of this oxygen with this hydrogen with positive charge. Now here this transfer of this proton will take place towards this oxygen. So I will write this in the next structure. So here OH2 with positive charge. So we have R1 as well as R2. And in the last step, the proton which is present on this carbon, it will donate the lone pair of electron like that and this bond will get break and there is loss of water molecule takes place and finally we get the furon.